Here is a Lake Wood model P223 box fan from 1981. I was at Goodwill earlier today and I saw a fan similar to this one, but it wasn't the same color. This is like a like a peachy pastel pink almost. I'm not sure what they call this color officially, but the one at Goodwill was more like the standard tan beige color. Um, I wanted to get this fan out and look at it though because the one at Goodwill, it just it looked a little bit smaller than a 20 inch box fan, but looking at this one now, it had to be 20 inch. It had um, the same depth of the cabinet here, but for some reason, uh, the other dimensions just looked a little bit smaller, but I guess it would have had to have been the 20 inch. I had an opportunity to buy that fan, but I didn't come away with it, mostly because it was not out on the floor for sale. It was being used by one of the employees behind the counter. Um, I was up at the counter paying for some other stuff, and I saw the fan on a step stool behind her. She had it blowing on her back, and I noticed it had a tag up on it right here. So out of curiosity, I just asked if it was for sale. And um, she turned around and looked at the tag and, and she said yes, but it wasn't the kind of yes that was, that would have been like, yes, would you like to buy it? It was more like, uh, yes, and you're gonna ruin my day if you take this fan. So <laughs> um, I just said, don't worry, I'm not gonna take your fan. And she smiled and said, thank you because it was humid in there and it was getting hotter by the hour. It was pretty miserable in there and they didn't have the air on. So I didn't want to take her fan, but I might go back around closing time and buy the fan anyway, because I did see two other Lasco box fans and a pedestal fan back there that were not being used at the time. So it's not like they don't have other fans. I just don't want to take fan that she's using in the middle of the shift while there's a line of customers there. So I don't know, we'll see how that works out later. But anyway, let's look at this one now. This is the model P223. And the date on the side of the stator, if I remember right, was 1981. This one has the gold sparkle sticker. McMillan motor. The fan at Goodwill had to have been from around the same time period as this one. It was definitely before they went to the thinner cabinet style. But this fan's in pretty good shape overall. It's got a few cracks in the guard here and there, but it's not missing any slats yet. It's just got a lot of this going on. There's a lot of them in here that are cracked and I have to glue. Other than that, it's pretty good. Fan does shake a little bit when it runs. It's not bad, but it does have a little bit of a shake to it. Let's go ahead and start it on low. That's one thing I noticed about the fan at Goodwill. I could not hear it. I think that one was running on low speed and it seemed like it was running pretty good. It was clean too. And when she tipped the fan slightly to look at the sticker, I want to say it was only like $5.99 on the price tag. So the more I think about it, the more I want to go back and get it. Let's do uh, a feet per minute reading. I'm really curious about the velocity on these fans. I don't think that I've measured one of these Lakewood fans yet. Let's see what the low has to say. the low 500 
includes territory on low speed. Let's go to medium. Creeping up around 1,100 feet per minute on the high speed, that's um, better than I thought it was going to be. I want to say the newer Lasco box fans were uh, like high 800s. I'm going to have to go back and look at those numbers again, but I'm pretty sure that that is higher than the new Lasco box fans, um, which is not surprising, but... It's a little better than I thought this was going to perform, so that's good. Pretty strong box fans. The only issue is these aren't really known for velocity so much as they are just moving high volumes of air. Partially, I think, because of the, the way that the guard is designed. These slats here, they just kind of throw the air out wherever. So it moves a lot of air, but... Um, Typically, it's just not, they're not really known for having that much velocity. So, that's a pleasant surprise to see this breaking the 1,000 feet per minute barrier. Uh, let's do some startup sounds now. Uh, we'll start the low speed. Here is low. And now we'll do the medium speed. Got some cracks around the, the screws also. Just about all of them on the back side. The rear side is a little bit worse than than the front, but okay, here's the high speed startup. Mm -hmm. 